Hi, Juliana here, recording this for the second time because it always goes better the second time I do it. But welcome to my 2020 June plan with me. This is a crazy one because I looked it up three years ago. I posted my very first YouTube video, which was a June plan with me for the year 2017, which is absolutely bonkers. And I looked back at that video and I was doing my bullet journal in a lined notebook. And I remember I like filmed it in a totally different place in my house and just, oh, how the times have changed and you definitely don't care at all. But I'll link that video up in the cards or down in the description if you wanna go watch little baby me's first YouTube video. <laughs> Every once in a while I think about it and I'm like, gosh, that's kind of better than the YouTube videos I make now. But regardless, bullet journaling videos are just always my favorite videos to make. I think they'll always feel like home. Ooh, too sappy, too sappy, Juliana. <laughs> but even after making all my other hair content, all that kind of stuff, it feels lovely to still make another bullet journaling video. Especially since as I was making this video, I was on a Zoom call with some of my college friends who were in an amazing class we took in the fall semester called Oppression and Change in the Contemporary United States. And it just made me happy to have them there with me while I was planning. That was really lovely. Yeah. But anyway, enough with the sappy stuff. On to my June bullet journaling video voiceover description thing. <laughs> I decided that my theme for this month would be mushrooms and little yellow flowers. Don't ask me why, it usually takes me like hours to decide on a bullet journal theme, but this month I went on Pinterest as always and the very first image I saw was of a jeans pocket and like coming out of the pocket was embroidery of little mushrooms and little yellow flowers and I thought that was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. and. Uh, it just made me happy to look at, so I had to recreate it. <laughs> um, it's really unscientific the way I choose my bullet journal themes. It's usually just panic and then finding one I like, and then it works out. Anyway, if you feel inspired by this theme and you recreate it, please tag me at a little book world on Instagram. That would be the cutest thing ever, although I highly doubt that would happen because probably this video will get like 100 views, but regardless, it's always so fun to make these and I do it for fun more than anything else. So here's me drawing my calendar spread for the month of June and I made it very, very similar to May's calendar just because I really liked how that looked. I'll link the video again if you want to watch last month's bullet journaling video but I did the same thing where I carried the theme colors over from the first page and used them for the little dots that would be the day's numbers and that's a really good way to keep the theme going and make the month really cohesive it's really fun I'm finding to like carry the theme throughout the month and find the ways to work in the colors and Ah, so fun. Yeah, if you are going to make your own bullet journal theme, pro tip is just choose maybe like four colors that you're going to use for the month and stick with those. It looks really cool. And then I always have this issue of what to do with all the blank space around my calendars. I don't, I really don't know. I've tried putting like trackers there, but I don't need to track my things like that <laughs> that was really unspecific but like if you ever watch amanda rachley or amanda ratchley i don't know if you ever watch her videos on youtube which if you're watching this you probably have because she's just an amazing bullet journaler um she'll put like youtube growth trackers or like instagram trackers around her calendar spread sometimes and i'm just not interested in tracking that kind of stuff so i always have trouble with what to fill the space with but a good go-to is just doodling more of the same doodles that were on the cover page sometimes it can get a little tedious but if you choose something that you enjoy i find that it's really kind of 
like therapeutic and it always looks so satisfying afterwards which is so nice but then i kind of ruined the whole spread because i didn't know what to do with the space at the top so i wrote june 2020 and probably the ugliest cursive you will ever see but overall ah, i just love the little mushrooms like the way I film these voiceovers is that I speak the voiceover as I'm watching the video. So like I'm watching the video as I say this and I just love the little mushrooms. So cute. Anyway, then I moved on to my mood tracker. Now, I never am successful at using mood trackers, I will admit, mostly because I find that like I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be like, man, I feel horrible. And then by the end of the day, I'll have like hung out with some friends or something will have happened and I'll be like, no, that was great. So it's like, just doesn't work for me to pick one mood for the entire day. I don't know, maybe that's a me issue. Maybe other people don't think that hard about it. Probably the case, <laughs> but that's why I liked this concept of the mushrooms because I thought maybe, maybe the top of the mushrooms could be like the morning and then the like stem, if that's what you call it, could be the afternoon evening time. So like if my mood like changed throughout the day, I could track that. I don't know, I don't know. They're also just so cute. I had so much fun drawing this spread. I mean, it was a little tedious, but whew, tracing over all the pencil with my Tombow Fudnasuki pen was so satisfying because the pen is made for calligraphy. I'll link it in the description if you're curious, but that means that if you apply pressure, it just really easily makes a thicker line and I think that gives it such a, like a professional cartoony look which I absolutely love. Ah, uh, man, sidebar, it is hard to record these voiceovers. I literally have to talk for like seven minutes straight. No, like 10 minutes straight. Anyway, regardless, moving on. To find all the like inspiration images for all the mushrooms because no way did these come out of my head, please. I always need to be looking at something and copying something to doodle it successfully but to find these i just think i looked up like mushroom drawing on pinterest and used like the very first image that came up which had like maybe six seven eight different mushrooms and then i kind of interpreted those shapes and scattered them around the page as i pleased drew some dots on some of them and some like lines on other ones. Some of them look like little ice cream cones, which is pretty cute. And then of course I forgot to actually make the key for the page, but I'm planning on using the colors in the theme and just making one like a happy face and a frowny face, etc. Pretty not exciting, but I love how that page turned out. And I know you're looking at me drawing my habit tracker now, but I'm just like obsessed with that page. I'm so happy with how it looks. Ah. Anyway, moving on to the next page here. I'm doing my habit tracker for the month. I, again, am pretty notoriously bad with remembering to fill these in, but I really liked the habits that I chose for last month, so I figured I'd just copy those in this month because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this I'm just left pretty simple, but I drew the grids for the calendar, four of them. Mm, yes, the narration is falling apart at this point, but <laughs> we'll keep going. We're gonna soldier through. Great times, great times. So I drew the grids of the month and I'll just put a little dot in the grid for every day that I complete one of the tasks. So the first habit that I'm tracking is watering my plants because go watch my latest video. I became a plant mom and it was cute and I drew some cute little graphics. Yeah, but my first habit that I want to track is when I'm watering my plants to make sure that I don't kill them because that normally happens and I don't want it to happen this time. Um, and then my next habit is go outside because it's like real crazy in the world right now and I find that something that helps without fail is going outside especially since I'm in a place where I can do it safely and there's enough space to be far away from people. I just find that even if it takes me until like 6.30 p.m. to make myself go outside, I feel better for having ventured into the world. And then I have exercise for the same reason and talk to friends because social distancing doesn't mean not talking to friends. <laughs> 
Um, and of course, moving on to the last two pages, I made spreads for the first two weeks of June for me to just write the daily tasks that I have to do. And actually, instead of doing every single day of the week, I made one block for the weekend. We'll see how that works, but um, I actually somehow found an internship, so I am now like doing an internship, and I will not talk about that because I know if someone were talking about this, I would absolutely hate them, um, but that means I should probably keep track of things that I need to do, so making a space for that is always a good idea. And then along the bottom, since I used the like mushroom colors to highlight the days of the week, I just drew the little yellow flowers with the green stems that I had on the first two-ish pages of the month. And they're so cute. I don't love this spread. It's not like the most creative thing in the world, but it was, I think it's more meant for utility than beauty. Ooh, and pro tip, if you ever need to fill up extra space and you're not sure with what, just add little circles, little dots, and like tiny X's, and it gives it like this lovely, sparkly, cute feeling. Yeah, that's something I learned from this Instagram account, Study with Inspo, that I followed like years ago. And I don't know if he's still posting videos, but great stuff. And here's my final <laughs> here's my final flip through of the month, and I really love how this turned out. It is so cute, and I'm obsessed with the mushrooms. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you want more bullet journaling content. And there's a girl outside sweeping the street, which is fascinating. Ugh, I love it. I love what she's doing. Subscribe to my channel, like this video if you support an entrepreneurial queen. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.